Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Oh yeah, you're gonna be my man 
That don't look like 400 grand. That's because it bloody ain't. <sighs> 62 grand. That's it. It ain't enough. No, it ain't enough. You said there'd be 400 grand. I know. Check it again, Bruce. I've counted it twice. What do you think? I've got some on my bloody sleeves. All right, all right, all right. How much are we getting? Minus costs, minus drinks for the chaps who helped us, minus 22 grand for the next job set up. Equal shares, about four grand each. Four grand. All that risk, all that planning, but four poxy grand. Ain't a lot, is it? This was supposed to be the big one. Look at it. How long's that gonna last us? Well, we'll do better next time. What we got now, huh? All those stupid bloody expenses. I mean, the, the costumes, the, the wheels, the stupid bloody moustaches. Went to plan. Four grand each, Bruce. It was your tip-off, Charlie. Yeah. Well, someone's grass, then. Stop looking for shadows. We did our job, we were just unlucky. Every time. No, mate. Not every time. I won't let it. for the next job, Chaz. You're always bloody hungry. You need to lie low for a bit, let things cool off. We were so close. Next job, we go bigger. No, I'm just gonna alert the old Bill, right? What do you wanna be, mate? A low-level thief all your life? Yeah. I'm a reputable greengrocer, yeah? You got a dream, Chaz. Dream big. My dad always said, whatever you do, make sure you're the best. Next one, we make our mark. You don't know, think a lot of yourself, Bruce. <laughs> Look around this place. Most people here, they were born to this. Money on tap, place in the establishment. We're as good as anyone here. Better. We grafted our way here tonight, Chaz. Don't get a taste for it, yeah? This airport cash, yeah? Ain't gonna last long. <laughs>
What about that airport raid then? Yeah, I think I read about that. Uh, good luck to him, I suppose. Mind, he barely got away with loose change. He must have been sick when they opened up the box. Imagine their faces. Well, 60 grand though, 20 minutes work. Whoever planned it didn't get it quite right, though, did he? Beyond his capabilities, I'd say. A couple of schoolboy mistakes. Is that right? So now, we'll be on him like a shadow. We? Rude of me. Frank Williams. Detective Inspector Five Squad. You having a good night? Celebration. Good week in the antiques game, treating my wife. Good man. Family's important. Seen too many family men end up in Wandsworth or Parkhurst. Even put some of them there myself. You were in Wandsworth, weren't you, Reynolds? Mistaken identity. Twice. Enjoy your night, but don't get carried away, eh? Give my regards to your boss at the flying squad, uh... Mr. Butler, isn't it? Tommy Butler doesn't even know who you are, son. Not yet. You're not Raffles, lad. You never will be. Stay in your box. They make me laugh, your mates. They are funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's one word for them. Never felt like I belonged anywhere till I met them. Tried the church, the army. When I met them, it was like finding a family. We're your family, right here. Mm, brothers in arms, then. That's what they are. Must have been expensive tonight for you and your brothers. Don't you worry about that. You'd tell me if we ever got in trouble, wouldn't you? I'm not in trouble. You would, though, wouldn't you? It's your dad now. Nick's gonna need you around. I wanna make him proud of his old man. Don't do anything daft. You tell your mates and all. Chaps, Brian Field, Charlie Wilson. Pleasure. Brian's a solicitor's clerk. His firm's been uh, very helpful to me. It's good to meet you. Likewise. And this year, this is Roy James. I've seen you drive, Mr. James, out in the racing circuit. Rising star, you are very impressive indeed. It's an honour to shake you by the hand, no, sir. All right, don't go overboard. He won't get his head through the door. <laughs> see why you like him. Good judgment. So what was it you wanted to talk about, Mr. Field? Well, not to assume anything, gentlemen, but... Uh... I've got a business acquaintance who might like a little chat with you. He's looking for a group of professionals. What kind of business acquaintance? There's an overnight mail train from Glasgow to London, Euston. At the front is the HVP coach. HVP? High value package. And what's in a high value package? Used banknotes. Surplus cash from the Scottish banks. Keep going. The Scottish banks send all the cash that's surplus to their requirements back down to London on the train. Along the way, any surplus cash from times on the train's route is also collected. What? Every night? Uh -huh. Leaves Glasgow at 6.50 p.m., seven stops along the way, gets into Euston at 4 a.m. The HVP coach is the second coach from the diesel engine. How many men on board? In the HVP coach? Five. Post office workers sorting the mail. And what about the rest of the train? Seventy or so. But no one in the first carriage. That's just parcels. How many bags on board the HVP coach? By the time it leaves Rugby, which is the last stop before it gets to Euston, around 60 or 70 bags. How much? 
don't know. Rough guess. Could be a million. After a bank holiday, maybe more. in 125 years. No one's thought of knocking it off before now. They didn't have the Ulsterman, did they? How many coppers? That's the beauty. None. No transport police, no security guards. You're kidding me, nobody. Yeah, now he's getting the glint. What, nobody at all? It's Her Majesty's mail, mate. Nobody would have the nerve. That's how they all see it. Even without police, still 75 men on board. Only five on the HVP coach. Yeah, but the other 70 aren't going to just sit there twiddling their thumbs while we have it away with these notes. Can we fix it so that they don't notice, Charlie? Well, I won't notice. All they've got to do is look out the window. No, Gordon's right. We can sort that. Don't say, don't say you're on the hook. Big dreams, Chaz. Oh, you got fancy, haven't you? The post office. One in the eye for all the old duffers running this country. What is that what you think this is about? It's about getting the life you want. No, not want, deserve. Setting yourself up for good. House where you like, private schools for your girls. No more fruit and veg at five in the morning. You'd never have to look a potato in the eye again, mate. First up, where can we best get at these bags of cash? A couple of Houston. His old bill, railway and post office workers. The Osterman said we could set up an ambush at one of the stations earlier on the route. What, and miss out on half the bread? I don't think so. We go all in on this. What about as it's slowing down on its way into Houston? It won't work. Houses overlooking the track. All it takes is someone looking out of a window in front of the old bill. It needs to be before the city, but after the final stop, so all the bags are on. What? So a stretch of track somewhere between rugby and central London? Yeah. <laughs> but deserted. So we got room to work. Say we find that, hmm? How do we stop the train? Communication call. It's not a passenger train, Buster. I mean, how do we get on it to pull it? Sleeper, then. Anyone with half a bit of sense can lie a sleeper across the line. Too obvious. We don't want the driver and the crew latching on too quick. It's got to be subtler than that. How does a train stop normally? A station or a signal. Signal? Anyone know how to fix a signal? I'm all for dreaming, big chaps. But we ain't got the expertise. What? So we fall at the first. Best tip in years. If we can't do it, we find a fella who can. Someone must have the know-how. There is a florist in Brighton. Word is you're part of the firm doing the Brighton line. Tommy? Gentleman here saying something about us knocking off the Brighton line. Did he? Now, I wonder why he'd say something like that. Everyone is, mate. You want to watch it. Loose lips sink ships. Point is, do you know how to stop a train on a track? And why would you be asking? A friend of mine had a little tip off. Money spinner, maybe. Tip from where? Inside information. Train with sacks of cash on it in the hundreds. What's that got to do with us? We're looking for an expert train stopper. Heard maybe that was you. Your fella on the inside. You say how much there was in each of the sacks? Said he didn't know. It's fine. Might be genuine. Fakers promise exact amounts. What do you think? Just stop the train. There'll be a drink in it for you. I could certainly stop it for you. Our firm would have to be part of the job. Isn't that right, Tommy? Oh, yes, Roger. Definitely. 
Well, I hope you told him where to stick it. So I'd let him know. He's an expert. Specialist knowledge don't come cheap. How many is he talking about? That big's a firm. Hold on. We ain't agreeing, Bruce. Roger, Tommy, Bob Welsh and one other. Four of them. What do you think? Bigger the firm, smaller our share, right? It's a million quid. There's enough to go around. The more people in on it, the more chance of word leaking out. It's a solid firm. Roger put it together himself. Three things. First, there's 70 blokes on that train outside the HVP coach. We'll need to bring in muscle, whatever happens, in case things go boss side. Second, if there's as many bags of cash as the Elsterman's suggesting, we'll need extra hands to get them all off the train and onto a lorry. We ain't gonna have that much time. Third, without Roger, we can't stop the bloody train in the first place. So it doesn't matter if there's four or four dozen of us. That train's gonna go speeding past within all them notes out of reach. Now, all those in favour? Here we go, gents. So, lovely buster. Any more biscuits? What happened to the last lot? Next time we're having a kitty, because otherwise I'll be skinned. So, meeting of the firms. Welcome. Any opening comments? There's something I'd like to say, Bruce. Mm. Go on in, Chaz. And just to be clear, I'll do any grass that costs me my liberty. As far as I'm concerned, a grass is a Judas. We should have been drowned at birth. Thank you, Charlie. OK. We need to agree on the right spot for the grab. Gordon? Right, I've been with a route on a train from Houston to Rugby. Buster, tell me here, they went to case a few possibilities. We followed the track. Burke Hampstead, Boxmoor, Kings Langley, Watford. We looked for near to London, away from inhabited buildings, with a set of signals and access to a road. A Couple of days it took, but we reckon we got somewhere. Now, take a look at it. And the bridge here indicated as bridge 127. We figure that that would be a sensible place from which to remove the bags from the train. The nearest property is a farm, a quarter of a mile down the lane. Here it is. Bridge 127. Bardigo Bridge. Shall we? So this is the main signal. Four signals three quarters of a mile on from here. That's good. We're going to need both. So what do you reckon? This a place? I can definitely stop the train here, but you're going to have to move it forward to the bridge to unload all the sacks. What, the whole train? No, no, you, you uncouple the engine and the HVP from the rest of the train, and you move that on half a mile to the bridge and unload it all there. You leave the rest of the train here. Right. Of course, yeah. Uncouple it, move it forward. No problem. You sure? Your side can sort that? Yeah, of course. So, when's this train due? Bang on. That's our baby. It's a good thing about lifting from trains. It's always a timetable. So uh, that's the dwarf signal. That's right. Uh, dwarf signal's always stationed before the main signal. If it's shining amber, the driver knows to slow down, but there's a stop signal up ahead. Like traffic lights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You married, Bruce? I am, yeah. Miserable old game, isn't it? So you'll rig this and the main signal further up the track? Uh, yeah, I won't be able to do both on the night. It takes too long to get from one to the other. If something fails or goes wrong with one, then the whole night's over. Oh, that's fine. I'll just get my brother-in-law John to do it. He's my lucky charm. You just show me how to rig it. Swear to secrecy, though, Bruce. Yeah? Bring your silence. It took me a long time to work this up. I don't want others nicking my ammo. Of course. 
Roger. Roger. Mate, your secret will go no further. I promise. Get the batteries to the bulb, to the lamp, and the amber light comes on. Got it. Are the green light's still on. Of course it is. That's a real signal. So how do we knock it off? That's it. A light bulb and a black glove? Yes. I thought it was going to be all technical. You said it... Uh, it's just common sense, Roger. Anyone could have thought of that. Yeah, but they didn't, did they? I did. Anyone can be complicated. Simplicity... That's hard. A glove? That's it. That's his secret. Says he read it in a library book. Why didn't we add that book? See, if we just used our loaves, we needn't have brought in another firm. Well, at least the glove ain't gonna go wrong. Anyway, we've got a small problem. I promised Roger we'll uncouple the engine from the other carriages and drive it forward. What'd you do that for? I couldn't look like we didn't know we were doing, could I? How are we gonna shift the truck? I'm working on it. I've got Roy down at Houston pretending he's a teacher, and asking how it all works. How's your mate Brian Field getting on with the stoke? Coming along. Ah, oh, Mrs. Rickson, um, we've arranged an appointment through Midland Marts to view the property. Uh, this is Mr. Field, a prospective purchaser. Would you mind off if we took a look oh, around? No. We won't take up too much of your valuable time. Very much obliged. Lovely. 27 miles west of Rydergo Bridge on the other side of Aylesbury. Nearest village is Brill. Main house, outbuildings, plenty of room for vehicles. The place itself is not visible from the main road and there's only a dirt track in. Now, it's bugger all to look at, but it's perfect for this. And it's not on any ordnance survey maps. No, yeah. told you it was good. How do we do it? Mr. Wheater, my boss, will do the paperwork. Leonard Field, no relation, will be the front man. 10% deposit of £555 to secure vacant possession, and the rest we will make payable sometime later in the year. By which time we'll be long gone. Exactly. Now, after we get out, who handles the clean-up? That's where Billy here comes in. He'll burn the farm down as soon as we're all gone. I trust you've done this sort of thing before. <sighs> Billy's a safe blower. Best in the business. With all due respects, Mr Reynolds, this is a bit bigger than a safe. I know. Something big to really get my teeth into. I love blowing things up. Let me have those deposit funds as soon as you can. Gentlemen. Well, is he reliable? He's got me out of a few corners. Don't like him. Don't have to like him, Bruce. But he will get it done. Now, about driving that train. Roger Caldry ain't the only one who reads books. Tommy and the train ride? That's right. What's a kid's book? It's got pictures.
Right, this here, I reckon that's the brake. This must be the dead handle. Now what? Well, you're the one who's got the book. What does your mate Tommy do? He pushed something. That's better. That is better. Hold up. Yeah. You think anyone heard? It's a train yard, isn't it? There's train noises. When you're ready, drive a goodie. Ease her away. <laughs> hey, aren't we moving? Oops, we are. I'm a train driver, aren't I? What you don't bump into anything? Oh, this is a bit of me, this. I've always fancied this. Ever since I was a kid. It's a dream come true, mate. I wish my mum could see me now. What? And see you nicking it? <laughs> Reckon you can start it up again? Of course I can. It's easy, isn't it? Then we're in business. Nice work, driver Goody. My pleasure, assistant driver Reynolds. My pleasure. Hey, you can stop her now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. I thought that was the brake. Well, you just made it go faster. I, 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 well, which one's the brake here? Well, you wrote the book. I can't remember what one the brake is. Hold stop, on. Stop the train. I'm trying, I'm trying. Go then, stop the bleeding train. I'm bloody trying. Have a look. It's a runaway train. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> There's nothing in the newspapers about it. Perhaps they thought it was just kids mucking about. Well, yeah, well, they wouldn't be far wrong, would they? Nope. So where does this leave us? Up the Swanee. If we can't drive the train ourselves and we can't find a driver, we're gonna have to bank on persuading the driver on board the train to do as we tell him. Let's see how that goes. Drive it or kill you. Go on, kill me. Stalemate. Right. Clock sticking down, Bruce. Everyone can be persuaded. Just shove newspaper up his trouser legs and set fire to it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> bastard! Come on, he'll soon make up his mind. Then. <laughs> what is the matter with you, Lord? <laughs> Have you heard yourselves? We're trying to pull this off, and all you've got are these bloody ridiculous, stupid. You with your trouser burning, you with your fairy tale train manuals, and you. Yeah, don't ever pop at me because you're on the ropes, all right? You're the planner. I'm just treasurer. Who got you Roger Cauldry? And who bought the Ulsterman's tip up in the first place? Oh, like one thing each. We're within touching distance of a million quid, showing the whole world what we can do. You're standing around here like lemons, doing nothing, expecting me to solve all the big problems. And you ain't doing much of a job of it right now. What's the matter? Too big for you, this one? Give me the fright of your life there, gents. What's in the bag, sir? Just tools. Off to work, that's all. What is it you do exactly, sir?
You are, mate. Quiet tonight. A few problems. Mate of mine, Billy Still, mm -hmm. got pulled by the law yesterday. Mm, ouch. Trying to take my mind off it. Yeah. Good seeing you again, BZ. You too, Brucey. I hate to ask, but you don't have anything on, do you? Only I can do with 500, just to see me right. <sighs> no, mate, sorry. And all my cash is tied up in something right now. What a job. Maybe. Well, you got any space on it? Sorry, Rob. It's not for you, this one. Huh? Not unless you can drive a train. No, I, I can't drive a train, but I might know someone who can. Now you're lynching. No, no, Biggs, listen. Don't mess me about. I know you want a job, but... No, 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 straight up. When I came out a few years back, I was working for Burdett, the builders. Now, we did a lot of British industrial sand. They employed old train drivers to shunt the stuff around. I got to know a couple of them. There's this one fella called Alf. He's as good as gold. Do you think he'd ever do something dodgy? Hey, this is marvellous. Pretty impressive. Don't touch anything out. All right, gents, are we ready? So what's the cover then, Bruce? There's an army base at Bista. We wear army clobber with divisional insignia on the vehicles. People are used to seeing convoys on those back roads. We're just an elite unit on nighttime manoeuvres. You do love a costume. Hey, we're taking on the establishment. Use the enemy's armour against them. In army get-up, we can assert authority over whoever we like, including any local bobbies. Now, on the night itself, there's only one train running through. And once it's stopped, we've got 15 minutes to get all the bags off and loaded onto the lorry. We're getting tooled up. Koshes only, no guns. You sure? Big job like this. You take a gun, you might end up using it. We're just there for the money. Now, everyone knows what everyone else is doing. We're going to lie low at the farm for a couple of days, a week at the outside. We've got enough supplies to last us. We let the heat die down and then make our way home. I still don't understand why we need the farm. I can drive us back to London in 40 minutes, probably less. See, the moment those alarms go off, it's going to be roadblocks all the way back. I'll have us back before that. I'm just going to take care of the farm now Billy Steele's been nicked. That'll be me, Mr James. You're a solicitor's clerk. Do you know about burning farms? I've got a contact. A gentleman on a know does a lot of professional cleaning. And you get a bigger whack of the takings. Look, we're going to the farm. It's decided. Now listen to me. You're all here because you bring something. Because we trust you. You're all responsible for your own arrangements getting home. And whatever you do after, I don't want to know. Get yourself a good alibi. Right. Any more questions? Yeah, when are you going to stop using that blackboard? It's like being back at school. <laughs> Security is the name of the game here, boys. Remember what they said in the war? Be like Dad, keep Mum. Mum. Now, go off, give your wives and your girlfriends a bit of attention, and I'll see you at the farm on the sick. And be lucky, eh? Lovely vehicles, these Land Rovers. Who does this belong to? Don't know, Dad. We nicked it night before last on the Strand. You nicked it? You want to be careful. You can get pinched doing things like that. He's right, boys. You can. Let's 
Everyone into overalls with the decorators. And remember, gloves at all times. No dabs. All right? Let's get settled in. Hey, sorry. What's your name? Elvis Presley. Pleasure's all yours. Yeah, I won the Formula Junior at Brands Hatch earlier this year. Don't drink horse milk, see? What are you doing on this, sir? You need money in the racing game. It's all about better cars. You get myself into Formula One, you're not showing what I can really do. Yeah. Here we go, Big Z. Youngest major in the British Army. Not bad for somebody who deserted after two days. I was hoping for the Air Force. I fancy myself as the next Douglas Bader, only with more legs. Biggs, are you going to stand in front of that mirror all day? Look at him. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Yeah, yeah. I've got it, I've got it. Are the hell's Gordon? Oh. Late, like always. I'm white. Right. I own the next farm along. I rented a field from the previous owner. Right. Are you the new owner? No, no. Oh. The decorators. He's having it all done up before he moves in. Who's the owner then? Mr. Fielding. Over in Aylesbury. Well, when do you think he'll come up here? No, he won't be in for a while. Best speak to him. He'll be in within a fortnight. Why don't you come back then? All right, then. Thank you. Here we are. It's fine. Relax. Like that, is it? Oh, it's a... Uh, old Kemp Road. Right, I'll have some of that. 64. What time is it? Three minutes later than the last time you asked. Are we doing this tonight or not? If we get the nod. When's that going to be? When we hear. That bloke comes back. Why would he come back? I don't know. But he might. Blokes come back sometimes. I hate waiting. Really? Why well, have we never mentioned it? Yeah, well, train comes in at three. Don't give us much time. Chaps. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Well, at ease, gentlemen, at ease. Where the hell you been? Brian Fields' ass, Pangborn. Waiting for a call from the Ulsterman. Big Z. Is it on? Are we going? No, Bruce. It ain't on. What? It's a no-go for tonight. It says we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Well, did he say why? No. Now, is there any grub left, please? I'm starving.
on. All right, look lively. Stand by your beds. Left Glasgow at 6.50. We're on. It's now. It's tonight. from Sophia Loren with me sort out. Enjoy yourself. Let's get this bugger moving, eh, son? You turn the switch, amber light comes on. Oh. Then you use the glove. left me. No, three days ago. Said I was spending too much time away. I was doing this for her. I'm going up the line. You all right? I'm in position. Everybody Loud and clear. Tracks, roger. 
Main signal. Roger. If the walkie-talkies fail... We'll use the torches. Understood. It's coming. This is it. This is it. Roger. Repeat, over. This is it. This is it. It's coming. It's on. Just a little smoke. What, and everyone know we're here? Oh, yeah, mm. sorry. Have a word, Ron. He thinks he's on his holidays. Down, Dear, when it's green up there. Someone's asleep on the job. Go, Go Weasel. Shut it. Nip down. Find the signal, man, would you? All right. Know something's wrong. Right. We're gonna have to improvise. You all right, mate? Everything all right, Paul? Shit on him or something. Make a noise and you're dead. All right, mate. I'm on your side, my boy. Where are you from? Crew. Well, when this is over, we'll send you some money.
get it uncoupled. That's it. You're all right. You ain't badly hurt. In the cat. All right. Is he all right? Don't worry about him. Just concentrate oh, on what you've got to do. It's a bit nasty to me. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, what? I can't get a vacuum. Only 21 inches of vacuum. We'll have 21 inches of something in a minute. The pressure must have gone when we uncoupled the train. Don't you bang on about it. I can't get the pressure. Come on. I'll check the pipe. Come on, you've got to move it. just yeah. needs a minute. Come on! Time for this. Alf, come on, you've got to do this now. Come on! Oh, get him out! Get him out of here! I can do it! Go and get the other driver! Ow. Shut it! Get him in! Get him! Come on! Come in! Get him! Come in and look at me! Look at me! Do you move this train forward to where I tell you? Or you'll get some more! Now move the bloody train! Is there in the system? I've got to wait till the vacuum... See, I told you! What did Shut I tell it. you? Try them again. That's more like it. Little beauty. Keep doing that. No one's gonna hurt you, all right? Coming down to the marker! Slow it down! Slow it down! Slow it down! What took you so long? Yeah, a few problems. <laughs> Listen, when this is over, we'll get your address and send you a few quid. No. Why? Right. But keep your mouth shut. There's some more bastards here. We're running behind. We know. We've got 15 minutes. Oh, man. 
Take your eyes down! None of you move! Stay down, all of you! Down on the huh? floor! Stay on the floor! Don't look at me! Don't be moved there! Stay there! Leave it, sir! Stop moving! What did I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> We're on, my We're on. <laughs> He's ain't hot, baby. Always moaning, Blue. Come on! That's enough! That's enough! There's only a few left! Leave them! Time's up! Come on. What? Leave them! Anyone moves, it'll be the worst for them. Keep an eye for homing devices, lads. I don't want any unexpected guests. John, mate, put your gloves back on. That goes for everyone. If you can't find your gloves, put sticking plasters on your fingertips. You 
It's all wedge, chaps. It's all bloody wedge. <laughs> Bruce, radio! Okay. Wait me when you finish counting. Well, it might be a while. Longer the better. I can't, mate. Come on. Tell us. So you got down here. Well, oh, come on in. Two million six hundred and thirty-one thousand seven hundred and over the radio this morning. They said only 100,000 was taken. And they say <laughs> crime, don't they? <laughs> Come on, Dan, let's get you a beer. <laughs> Care in your favour. Collect two and a half million quid. <laughs> <laughs> Train driver Ralph, here's your drink. 
Is that all for me? Well, it's 20 grand. Yeah. Oi. Oh. <laughs> this knocks my 15 bob a week pension into a cocked hat, doesn't it? <laughs> Good. Hey, um, I hope you don't think, because I couldn't listen, manage this. You enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Help him out. Oh, baby. I think I'm going to get myself a nice little club. You know, something simple, classy. No riffraff. Tom, mate, you are the riffraff. We're going to take Pat and the girls around the world. Get ourselves a nice little yacht. What do you know about sailing? Well, I could pay someone to teach me now, can't I? I'm going to buy me mum a lovely little house. And then for me, penthouse sweet, Mayfair. Right on cold, running blunt. <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon you boys should stick some dough on me, become a world champion. Now I can afford the best gear. I'll be on level terms with the big boys. Squeeze all the pumps, girl, eh? Look at him. Shut up, Shut up, quiet. Hey, Tom, I'm going to send you a bottle of whiskey. Oh, yeah. We can't use the trucks. No. We just spent half the morning making a false bottom in the big truck for the loot. We can't risk it. So how are we going to get away with any transport? Nothing's changed. We plan to stay here for a week. That's what we're going to do. Besides, Old Bill's going to be flooded with calls now. See, there's real military vehicles around here. That's why we chose them. Yeah. That'll keep him busy for a while. We divvy up the dough. Get rid of any signs it was ever here. And let's not get twitchy every time the news comes on. All right? For military, we're making it look like a brick van. The lads are getting restless. Nobody leaves until I say. This ain't gonna die down in three days. Yeah, well, maybe not three days, or maybe a week. Listen, it's just the eye of the storm right now. It's not what we expected, but we keep our nerve. They're searching properties. We can't just sit here on our asses. The plan don't work. I said there's too many people. I said there was too many people. It's too late to worry now. What, too late? You were supposed to have planned for this. That's what you do. I didn't think we'd nick that much, did I? It was a snatch. A million tops. It wasn't supposed to be the crime of the bleeding century. Fine. But we don't wait till Sunday. We're leaving tomorrow. Bruce, I thought this place was being dealt with after we'd gone. It is. But if the coppers get here before then, they'll be all over it. Clean.
Right, chaps. Now don't do nothing stupid. Don't go flashing your cash about. And if the police come sniffing, keep it shut. I know it's not what we planned. But out on that track, it was a thing of beauty. And don't you forget it. Proud to know you, fellas. Enjoy your bread. Be lucky. What have you done? Send Nick to stay with Reen. Pack some cases. What? You're gonna stay somewhere else for a while. I've got a mate in Queensway. There's nothing to worry about. No. Listen, this is our home. I can't just leave You it. do as you're told! Please. All this fuss should have died down by now. I mean, why ain't it died down? It's another appeal for witnesses this morning. If Phil did his job, we're all right. Well, let's hope so. Has the dustman been? Everything's in hand. Has he been or not? It's taken care of. Were you there? Did you see it being done? I sent my best man. To answer the question, Field. I, I, I can't be sure. Say that again? That farm has been sitting empty four days now. He let down. Is this fella Mark? Oh, I don't think he did it. <laughs> he killed you. Do you know what she's done to us? <laughs> I'm gonna The police are gonna come for me first. I fixed the sale of the farm. If I swear, if I get pulled, I won't say anything. I won't even make a statement. I'll never drop any of you in it. Just please look after my wife. Go get him away from me. Get out of it. Go before your wife's a widow. How thorough were you all before we left the farm? What, I left a pair of pants and shoes. What? We was in a rush. I might not have been wearing gloves all the time. 
We didn't burn all the mail bags. That's why we played field. We made a plan. We had a plan. Why didn't you stick to the plan? It all got a bit rushed. The plan changed. Look, we go back to that farmhouse this afternoon, right? Burn it down ourselves before it gets found out. What? Hell of a risk. We ain't got no choice, Buster. We can't have the place being gone over. In a lane, four o'clock, right? We'll go together from there. We wait till dark. Head down to the farm, cop for whoever's there. Burn the place down ourselves. Did you not hear the news? It won't work, mate. Of course it will. I've come this far, I ain't giving it up now. There'll be more old Bill there than Hendon passing out ceremony. What do you suggest? I'm all out of plans. Flying squad's taking it over. Tommy Butler. Eight man squad, specially assembled. Eight men? What does he need eight men for? It was one job. For God's sake. I mean, so many money. It ain't like we killed anyone, is it? We kicked the establishment up the arse, mate. The establishment didn't like it. Separate ways, then? No contact. Far apart and far away from now on. We nearly had it, boys. For a minute there, it was perfect. Be lucky. Keep on running. 